It's 8.15 on your Wednesday morning before Christmas. Time to check in on the latest buzz in the entertainment world. Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live right now. Good morning. Well, good morning to the dynamic duo. I'm happy I know. to be here with you you're guys. A, you're a person down on your duo this morning. Where's 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 the the lady there? Where's Liz? Susie with Liz. Sorry, she's enjoying the snow up in Leavenworth, and I believe that song's actually from the movie White Christmas, which was one of my grandmother's favorites. That's oh, what, there you go. That's what you're See, here for. See, this is for. why Mike is on the show. Context, he always has fun facts. Value this is what this there. is what he does. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, fun facts, Keanu Reeves in the Matrix. It still blows my mind that there's a fourth movie. Yeah, you know, of the Matrix coming back, but we now know how much he's making. Yeah, uh, well, Matrix Resurrection comes out in movie theaters today, the fourth installment of the I, quadrilogy, I guess it would be called now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, but his salary for this movie is expected to be between 12 and 14 million, which is actually kind of surprising to me because the first movie, which came out in 1999, he was paid 12 million for that as well. Wow. So it looks like he's not getting a cost of living raise either. <laughs> yeah, just, just like the rest of America, I, I, I guess. guess. It even so. affects the celebs. Yeah, I but the good thing for him is he gets paid on the royalties and the back end box office for the movies. So all things said and done, he's made well over $150 million off the Matrix series. Oh, he has. Okay. Well, I was going to say that's not Michael Jordan or Tiger Woods money, but yeah, $12 but, million dollars yeah. to act in a movie is not so bad. But I guess after everything every, else when is all you said include no. everything else, everything else is good. Yeah. yeah, not, yeah. Too bad. yeah. It's not so bad. Uh, and I'm sure the movie will be a success. So, uh, you know, I don't think he's got to keep his fingers crossed on a good box office this week. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, probably, yeah. that's probably true true as well are you gonna go see it is that one that's on your list that and spider-man are on my list right now you know when the first couple matrix movies came out i was kind of like in my college years and I, I was focused on different things other than pop culture and movies so i i kind of fell behind the whole eight ball on that so probably not because i would have way too much catching up to do i did just i just binged all three of those because i had i, I had did seen you? the first one when it when it had, had come out uh -huh. But then I never caught up on the other ones. So I just went back maybe three months ago and just yeah. burned them through around. them. And so now I'm excited to see the fourth one. I'm with Mike. I was in my college years when those first came out. <laughs> I, I had my mind on other things, a lot of other things going on. Uh, right? you know, or you still have your mind on other things. Let's I, be honest. <laughs> most of the time, you know, that is a very intuitive thinking on your part. Right on, that is right on. spot on, buddy. <laughs> you and I have never met face to face, but you are spot on about me. I got uh, my mind I, on a lot I've of heard things. I've heard stories and legends. That's all uh, I need to know. Yeah. Don't believe let's, everything you hear written on a bathroom wall. Yeah, so let's keep everything right. behind the scenes right. here, uh, right that, now. That, that's my motto as well. Just stay out of Vancouver so we're not crossing each yeah, other's lines. Right. Okay. I actually live in Vancouver, so you and I have probably <laughs> cl crossed paths before. So, oh, so yeah, I can feel sure something we, yeah. between you two. That's Cross great. paths with crossed eyes. <laughs> All right, there's something else in my prompter here uh, that says, now that we're going to continue our discussion about The yep. Matrix, the highest grossing movies, Christmas movies of all time. Yeah, so they actually uh, just changed hands this week alone. Uh, we have a new number one, and it is this installment of The Grinch. The cartoon one that came out uh, a couple of years ago on streaming platforms is now the highest grossing Christmas movie of all time with $512 million in the really? box office. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Wow. It knocked off Home Alone, which held that top spot since 1990 until this year. That's incredible. That's a when you think blower. about it, because really? when you look at these numbers too, you you have to factor in inflation, right? Like they don't. It's not proportionally based. So you think about how much money that Home Alone made in 1990, and the fact that right. it still stood 30 years later. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, you've well, got uh, Die Hard on the screen too. There, looking at a little scene from Die Hard as well. Now, are these things, yeah. the last 30 seconds left, Mike, are these things all being released uh, streaming or are they in theaters or are they, they're, they're releasing, you, you, you suggested this, this Grinch thing had been released on the streaming service, right? Yeah, so this is how much money these movies have made total since they were released in the big theaters and now with royalties and everything. And Home Alone actually held a record for live action comedy until 2011 when it was knocked off by uh, Hangover 2. So wow. for another Christmas movie to take it over, this is a huge accomplishment for the Grinch. That's a big deal. That's pretty wild. I, I've never even seen that animated Grinch version. I, I love the Jim Carrey version. I love the original animated one. I've never seen that one, so maybe I need to do that. Pretty well, good. the other one made the top five, so I'm sure Dr. Seuss's family is very <laughs> You're happy. You're doing, yeah. Dr. Seuss is fine. His whole family <laughs> is doing fine. <laughs> Mike, thank you very much for getting up and joining us this morning again, as usual. See you, uh, I guess we'll see you tomorrow, probably. 
<laughs> okay, hopefully. hopefully. We'll see yeah. how it goes. As if, that is the plan. We'll so. be here. <laughs> it's in, a bold statement, Cor. See you in Vancouver, baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks, Mike. Take care, guys. You can listen and uh, you can listen to Liz and Mike. Uh, by the way, every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.